Sky Tunnel is 10 by 10 and is made of Bristol water pipe and scaffolding tubes. And the scaffolding tube has an outside diameter of 47mm and the Bristol water pipe has an inside diameter of 50mm. And then one will fit over yeah. the other quite neatly. The, the first thing to do is to prepare the gland, get it nice and flat as best as possible, and to hammer the scaffolding pipe in, which is three metres long, around about uh, one and a half. It's a metre long and it's half the distance that goes into the soil. Once you've got your six pipes in the ground distanced and worked out, you then drill through the pipe and put in some scaffolding planks so then you've got a border of scaffolding so the reason for that is that once the polythene goes over, you could very easily slip the fork into the polythene. That creates a verbal outburst. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use one of those for? <laughs> and the verbal outburst usually helps the polytunnel to rise. <laughs> However, we get back to some, and then you make a frame of wood and a ridge. Uh, beam going right across, connecting all three uh, polythene pipes, which have been painted aluminium because it looks better and the neighbours don't mind it. It was blue, it's a blue wall. Oh, and it's nice. yeah. and yeah. then you, see everywhere. you make a letter E inside, as you can see, the beds will be self evident. Now, I've modified it since I got it because the roots from the trees and the and vegetation here were coming through. So what I did, I dug it all out to about this depth, say about two feet deep, and then lined it with polythene. Now whenever you order the polythene from the suppliers, they always send twice as much as you need. And I lined it and then sieved the soil laboriously into the space and put some manure and stuff in. And then, about three inches from the surface, I put in some plastic water pipe, which is the like the overflow pipe size. And I made a big parallel letter E all the way around, blocked off at one corner, and drilled holes in every six inches, tiny little holes. What size? Just tiny. <laughs> and, and then I connect the hose pipe onto it, and you'll see it in a minute, onto the inlet, and put the water pump into the butt, switch it on, and it irrigates the whole system to within three inches depth. What happens then that any vegetation that goes in will start, the roots will start searching for the water. Ideally, if you have a dry crust on top, snails won't invade, weeds won't grow. It's a pack of lies because they do. <laughs> but ideally it was to create a, a very, very dry surface with moisture seeking roots going into the moisture. You, what, you need to tell us about the, the dealing with the polythene, Jeff. You've got the frame and, and what, have, what have, you, have you actually Did connected? you not think I was coming to that? <laughs> Good, thank you very much. So Someone should... will ask a question. How did you get the polythene? <laughs> Thank you, John. Good job we know each other. You dig a trench around the uh, uh, near the, the boards you've put in uh, the to, to a depth of about a foot. The boards are on the outside. The boards are on the outside. Yeah. So what you do then is you you put the polythene first over and then into the trench and fill the soil on top of the polythene so it anchors it down. So you've got that sorted out. The tricky bit then is to get the tension each end and wrap this polythene around. So you can imagine the polythene's out here. It's a long, long way out because by the time you've wrapped it all round, um, you, you've used the polythene. Up. So you, it's like wrapping up a Christmas present. John, you can see the trench behind you. Behind you.
There's just one thing. Have you got planning permission for this building? <laughs> because it's not a structure that is going to be um, permanent. permanent, this can be made to extend as long as you wish. It, it, it's, and it's had howling gales. Uh, a friend of mine bought a complete unit for £99 and within three days it was completely wrecked. Do you know there's aluminium? Of course. Because, yeah. But this, this will just, solid. it's so solid. Who fixed that policy? And, um, it, it's it's very, heavy duty. Heavy duty about, yeah, and it's well, also UVP. And how big's the That's roll? Right. I mean, is it a, a metre, two metres? Yeah, when you when you buy it, um, oh. they will they will ask you what is the size of the polytunnel, and they will send you so much. The most expensive part of this was the polythene, which was seventy-two pounds. How much you said? So the whole 72. unit, the whole. If, if I had a commercial one of these with the proper steel hoops and everything else. It would be about seven hundred pounds. This is worked out to one hundred and fifteen, which is pretty good. So it's polytunnel poly that it you're is. getting. Yeah, yeah you can buy it's several it's types. It's all about the UV rays with that's this right. thing, though, is. isn't it? This that's is what UV. makes it expensive. Yeah. It's how much sunlight and UV rays that's come fine. in for but your if crops. If you buy anything other than UV rays, it'll last two years. This will go on for it at least. Rot. Yeah, this will go on a lot longer than that. Mm. So, so, it, so it's actually quite. You know, it's quite wide stuff so yeah. actually managing it is quite a problem, it, is a problem. Well, it takes two to do it yeah mm. so it takes two of us well, it, no. the yeah. other thing that uh, there's a screen um, here similar to allow yeah, air to go yeah, through yeah, yeah, yeah. and flies and things to stay outside yeah that's nice things to stay but outside you can move that you can have a, a polytunnel as big as this it's only because I wanted it this size that I chose that size. It'll, it'll be a, I thought it, it wouldn't bend any more than that. No, 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 it'll go further, much further. Uh, right. Now, don't forget, this is actually waste material. If you go to Bristol, to the headquarters, there are huge, huge areas where huge lengths of offcut. They can't use them. They're Bristol offcuts. Bristol Waterworks. Mm. Bristol Waterworks. Right. But a, a polythene, a polytunnel is a fifth like season. And a fifth season means it starts early and goes on right through. So I could grow tomatoes from February yeah. right the way through almost Normal to Christmas. Conditions. And inside you'll find there's uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, beans, um, lettuce. Yeah, lettuce, uh, aubergine. There's a lot in there. Perhaps getting more and more a requirement then for growing in Britain with the usual summers we're having. Because we don't have sun. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because the great beauty about the polytunnel, of course, particularly in this season, it's been hammering down with rain. Yeah. I've been inside yeah. the garden. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get that radius down there? Like that? Yeah. 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 What did you bend that radius? It's just skill. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, it comes down it comes it's almost like circular stuff. It's, yeah. like, it's come off huge, huge it's big roll. Yeah. And it's already got them. Yeah, and they, I think they heat it and bend it straight to go into trenches. Right, it collapses then, I tried that. So that was what so was what? Like if you try and bend it around your knee like that, you go so far and then... Oh, oh yeah, you can't do a tight <laughs> bend on it. You can't do it.